NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, there is a lot of snow still coming down at this hour. And at some places, three feet of snow. Three feet. We have a number of, number of 36 inch reports. Wow. Hard to say it because we haven't said it mm -hmm. this winter so far. So by far the biggest storm, not for everyone, but for a lot of the southern spots, especially there's a lot of power outages. It's going to be days, maybe three mm -hmm. days at least. Thankfully, it's a more powdery snow now, so uh, not so much an issue with the consistency of the snow, but the wind for sure. Had a cool video in though from Stratton. This is Hudson, little so toss cute. of a tennis ball which actually gets lost for a little bit. Hudson jumps out there in the snow and is like, oh my gosh. Where is it? Wow, look how much snow there is too. <laughs> <sighs> so, good luck to Hudson finding that tennis ball. There is more snow there than when that video was shot in the daytime. These are the latest numbers and of course, they're changing all the time, still going up and someone has to measure. A lot of people don't have power, so the latest reports aren't always coming in, but Mariah, New York, 36 inches, Marlboro, Vermont, 36, Olmsteadville, 31.4, but Reedsboro, that comes from an area that doesn't have power right now, but someone else, uh, Jennifer, actually tweeted that it's 34 because the person who measures it doesn't have power right now. So it's a rough situation in southern spots. And just to illustrate that a different way, the power outages right now, these numbers update all the time. These are individual towns and cities. Rockingham, 2,800 outages. Chester, Westminster, also over 1,000. New Fane, and then uh, this grouping here is between 800 or so and 964 at Dummerston. But Guilford coming in at 854 outages and down the list Brattleboro still over 700 outages. So clearly southern spots very, very hard hit by this storm. Not a huge problem right now on Church Street. The snow piles are there, but the bricks are wet right now. 34 degrees. The north wind sustained at 18 miles per hour. So patchy snow. That is all that's left over, especially mountains and Vermont side of the Champlain Valley. Not so much snowing in Plattsburgh or Peru right now, but there's a mountain component here. So the green mountains are getting lit up with snow, even down through Rutland and uh, Addison County. Don't want to forget you in Addison County down towards Bennington as well. So it's lighter than it was before, but still a light accumulation expected overnight. The first warning weather lab is at the Williston rest stop. That's between exit 11 and exit 12. Meteorologist Matt DiLoretto is there. Matt, this is a whopper of a storm for so many. What's it looking like there? Well, the snow has certainly picked up in the last hour, even though we didn't get the hardest hit here in the Champlain Valley. The snow is quickly adding back up on the roads as things turn a little bit colder. I'd say there's about six to seven inches of cement-like snow just pasting the ground right now. And the thing is, the wind has certainly picked up out of the north since I've been sitting here. We'll switch over to the roof cam and you can see just how hard that snow is coming down. You did mention that it was more of a powdery nature of snow, so the wetness is sort of starting to go away. It is still pretty slick out there. You can see on our tire camera, the snow is beginning to add up on those paved surfaces. Right now, temperatures right around freezing still should drop a couple of degrees below that the road temperature right around that as well. So things are becoming slick again with the north winds kicking up. The good news is since the snow is a little bit less uh, wet and heavy and dense than it was before, that might mitigate some power issues, but with the winds gusting over 40 miles per hour, certainly not a good situation for wherever the uh, snow is still sticking to the trees. Now the snow is continuing to fill back in and move to the west. Tyler, what's the radar looking like and how much snow can we expect for the rest of uh, this overnight period? Generally an additional two to four inches in the mountains, but right now the Adirondack Northway is closed between exit 32 and exit 33. That's roughly between Lewis and Chesterfield, a rolled over vehicle there. So can only imagine the work and effort that's going to take to clean up. So snow diminishes to snow showers by tomorrow morning and afternoon. Generally just an additional two or three inches in these shaded areas. That's a lot of Vermont just outside of the Champlain Valley, some of the Adirondacks as well. For Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that includes St. Patrick's Day, just rain and snow showers lingering, drier, warmer, more like spring, more like March by early parts of next week. We'll get a breather. Brian, Alice.